Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. And as you can see on my screen, I'll be editing this image. Alright, so I did not do a video last week because I've been so busy. And trust me, uh, I'm really thankful I'm getting a lot of jobs now. So, um, you know, I have to find time to edit and also, you know, do the jobs. So this image was taken with the Nikon, what am I talking about Nikon? Sony A7 III and... Uh, Tamron uh, 28 to 75 millimeter lens. I was shooting high speed sync. As you can see, my exposure was at 2000. I was shooting at 2.8 and um, ISO was at 100. High speed sync actually allows you to go over 200 uh, for the shutter, 250. So, yeah, I was using the Godox um, flash for this shoot. So I'm just going to do a quick edit, just going to create a duplicate of this uh, layer and then I'm going to zoom up the image so I can remove any blemishes from the skin and I'm going to press J on the keyboard for the healing brush. I'm just going to just click and remove the blemishes. You can use the healing brush or the spot healing brush or the patch tool to remove your blemishes you don't really have a lot of blemishes so yeah so this is one other thing i don't like when i'm doing <laughs> photo shoots and the sun is directly over the model's head the eyelash is going to be reflected on the face and honestly it's a lot of work to remove it i don't like it all right so that looks good just get rid of the lines under the neck um there's not much I need to do on the foot, so that's good. So this video is going to be a short video. <laughs> Alright, so we'll be doing some color grading as well. I'm going to show you guys how to do the color grading using the Adobe 2020 uh, Camera Raw. Alright, so the next step now is to do some frequency separation, which you can download the frequency separation action by using the link in the description. For the radius, I'm going to be 6.4, and I'm going to click the mixer brush right here. And the mixer brush is normally nested on the brush, so you can just hold on and brush and you can see the mixer brush. I took mine out. All right, so for the mixer brush wet, I'm gonna put mine at 30%, and then everything else is gonna remain the same. And I'm just going to smooth the skin out a bit. It's basically gonna flatten the skin. Uh, you don't really want to add too much. Um, you just want to even out the skin and then you're good. So you're gonna go down to the low frequency layer and just blend out the skin just a little bit her face looks good um, I mean there's not much I need to do to be honest a lot of people think that they need to you know over edit the images for them to look a certain way I want my images to look as natural as possible there are times I may have to go overboard because of the nature of their skin and you know i'm really glad when i get some models where their skin is just perfect so i do less editing so all i'm doing i'm just um just going down in one line if the area is dark i just do one line if the area is bright i just do one line so that's basically it i don't need to do anything else let me just hold hold down on space and move the image so let's look at the before and after so that's before and that's after so the next step now is to do some color grading so i'm just going to close that Control shift alt e for creating a new layer Control j to create a new layer again and then i'm going to go to filter camera raw and now i'm going to do some color grading all right so i'm at the top now i'm going to press auto and see what auto looks like well auto looks good so i'm just going to tweak it now so it's a little bit dark so i want to just bring out some of the exposure maybe back to there um the shadows out a little bit then i'm going to do dehaze just to pump up the colors some more all right good uh then i'm going to come down here to the adjustments i'm going to go to the uh green and just make some adjustments let me just make a dot right here and a dot right here and just play with this all right i think i like that um let's do a before and after right there so you can see what i'm doing 
All right, and then we can come up to. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go down to where it says collaboration. I think collaboration was already open. All right, so this is the new um, uh, camera. Well, this comes in Photoshop 2020. So if you don't have 2020, you, your um, your camera will not look like this. But it's the same adjustments if you have the older uh, Photoshop. So I'm going to play with the blue, primary blue. That affects her skin as well. Good. So you can see the before and after here. There's not much I need to do. I'm going to press OK. Um, right here I need to even out a little bit. So I'm going to press J on the keyboard and use the patch tool. Gonna, oh, patch tool is right here. And then I'm just going to even that out. Well, that doesn't look good. Let me bring it down. All right, now. I'm not going to do that. What I could do is to just get uh, a new layer and then get my brush. Press B on the keyboard for the brush. Press I to make a selection. So I'm going to select right here. And then lower my opacity for the, well, lower my flow and just paint. Good. So now it's lighter. Nice. Uh, that looks good. There's not much I need to do with her leg. Let me just look at a before and after real quick. So before and after, good. So I honestly don't think there's anything else I need to do with this um, this image. Maybe what I could do, let me just create a new layer. Maybe I could just add blue in the shadows a little bit. So that's the before, that's the after, blue in the shadows. And um, mm, no, that, I don't think I need to do anything else. Here, look, it looks okay. So what I'm gonna do now is to, I think I wanna save this. I want to have this as, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna save it now. So when I save it, it's gonna go over to my um, Lightroom. Cause that's how I save my images. So now we have the before and after, before and after. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this video, all you have to do now is to give me a like and also subscribe to this channel and share if you can. Also, I want to thank you guys for 11,000 subscribers. <laughs> yes, thank you guys. So stay tuned for another video and ensure that you follow me on Instagram as well and turn on the notification bell so you can actually be notified each time I upload a post on Instagram and also on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.